with the 56 pick in the 2021 right. NFL draft. And just leave it, just leave the it. Seattle Seahawks select Dwayne Eskridge, wide receiver, Western. That's why <laughs> Pain. Pain is something that Seahawks fans know much too well, and it is inescapable. If not through the regular season, then through the playoffs. If not through the early stages of the offseason, then through the draft. Pain is inescapable, and pain is a guarantee. Everyone knows the famous quote for Seahawks fans, there are only three certainties in life. Death, taxes, and pain. And yesterday, day two of the 2021 NFL Draft, there was definitely pain. Alright, what's up everyone, I'm Faloki, and as many of you may know, with the 56th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Seattle Seahawks selected Dwayne Eskridge. Now, let me be abundantly clear about two things. One, I got my hair braided to ease the pain of passing on Creed Humphrey. And two, I am not upset at the player. I don't hate the player. I don't hate Dwayne Eskridge. I hate the fact that we passed on every single center on the board except for Landon Dickerson because he was taken earlier. We had Creed Humphreys, we have Josh Myers, we had Ken Miners even though he's kind of like a guard, he could have played center. We passed on many great options at center with Ethan Posich as our starter. And Ethan Posich, yes, he may not have the worst stats when it comes to sacks allowed, but we all know that that's because of two things. Russell Wilson can escape pressure. Most of the time, if there's pressure coming up the middle, Russell Wilson will escape out, which could either lead to a great play or it could lead to a sack from someone on the outsides. And two, Ethan Postich loves to get holding calls for some reason, and if he lets a man beat him, most likely Russell Wilson's going to escape it, but if he doesn't, you know it's going to be a holding call. And because of those two things, as well as my bad first impression, actually paying attention to Ethan Postich, seeing him what seemed like get cooked more often than he didn't get cooked in a single game, I have a clear disdain for him, and I would have loved to get center in this class, especially since Creed Humphreys fell to our pick. That would have been an amazing pickup for us. But of course, Creed Humphrey ended up going about five, six, seven picks later, whatever it was, to the Kansas City Chiefs, who literally showed that they had a horrible offensive line in the Super Bowl, got rid of their only two good offensive linemen, so they had a horrible offensive line, and then proceeded to make trades with teams and have a bunch of people fall to them in the draft to where they are able to rebuild their offensive line, and now it looks better than it was before. How do you not just stop the Kansas City Chiefs from being a dynasty by not giving them offensive linemen? If I was the owner of a team and I could have possibly allowed the Kansas City Chiefs to get an offensive lineman, I would go out of my way to not let that happen. Why the Baltimore Ravens traded Orlando Brown to the Chiefs of all teams? I don't know. Maybe you get a little bit less, but you also save the entire league from getting dominated. I don't understand that. But of course, as I watched the rest of the second round and the third round, basically every single possible option we had to get a center that could come in early year one, maybe, maybe year two, maybe even a day one starter, completely just was thrown out of the window. That was the most disappointing part. I don't hate Dwayne Eskridge, and that is what I want to make abundantly clear. I do not hate him as a player. He definitely seems like he's a good pick, but when you have Creed Humphreys, and you add Josh Myers, and you have Ken Miners, you have to take one of them, especially to sure up the most important part, some people say, of the offensive line. But now, with all that out of the way, let's actually talk about Dwayne Eskridge, because there's nothing we can do now. We can't get Creed Humphrey anymore. We can't get Josh Myers. We have to accept that Dwayne Eskridge was our second round pick and we have to support him and be fans of him because he is now the wide receiver three of our favorite team. So Dwayne Eskridge is a wide receiver who also played some corner at Western Michigan. He is five foot nine almost and he's 190 pounds. He ran a 4-3-8-40 at his pro day so he definitely is a very athletic guy. He was named Mr. Track after winning the 100 and 200 meter dashes in high school so there's no doubt that this guy has speed and he will clearly fill a role of a kick returner and someone that can kind of go underneath maybe do a kind of jet sweep or maybe he can just be a run after the catch guy. He's going to be pretty dumb dynamic in the Shane Waldron offense. You know, we have Tyler Lockett. He's an amazing catcher. He can make things happen after the catch as well sometimes, but mostly he is just a secure catcher. He's going to come down with the ball more often than he does not. We have DK Metcalf, a big jump ball receiver that can go deep. He has the speed. He has the strength. He has the height. 
He can do what he wants basically deep down the field as well as some things underneath. And Dwayne Eskridge seems to be coming in to kind of fill the role of a gadget guy in the Shane Waldron offense. Maybe we hit some jet sweeps with him. Maybe we do some screens with him, actually have some speed, and maybe DK will be a much better blocker than whoever lets someone get a pick six in the playoffs. I believe that was Freddie Swain. I could be wrong. But honestly, I think that this isn't too bad of a pick. And when we look at it, other than center, this is probably one of the better guys we could have got. Throughout his time at college, Dwayne Eskridge recorded 121 receptions for over 2,200 yards as well as 15 touchdowns. He was also used a bit in the run game, but really that's not too big of a part of what he did in college. He played some corner, but also not that big of a part in what he did in college. During his senior year, he actually got some opportunities at kick returner where he returned 17 kicks for 467 yards and a touchdown. So he definitely showed he can do some kick returning if he needs to, and he definitely seems to be a pretty big play guy every averaging almost 20 yards per catch throughout his college career. So he definitely seems statistically like he's pretty good. Maybe not the best wide receiver in the draft, but you're not going to get that late in the second round unless you're getting DK Metcalf in 2019. However, him being a great athlete and having some very good college stance isn't really the only thing that is very interesting about this guy. After he got selected, there was some draft conversations, some texts that were sent friend to friend that came out that are very funny. On Twitter, after being drafted, Dwayne Eskridge decided he was going to post a text message screenshot with one of his friends. I assume that this happened earlier, maybe a few days before, maybe a few hours before, because you cannot see the actual timestamps of when it was actually said. But it seems like Dwayne was talking to one of his friends, and his friend was the one that screenshotted this, where Dwayne said, I'm hoping to go to the Seahawks. Hawks. Out of every team in the league, I feel most comfortable with them. His friend then said, why do you say that? He said, just feel good about them overall. I know they're going to take care of me and especially with your cousin there. Now, apparently the friend's cousin that he's referring to is the wide receiver coach, which is actually perfect for them. That's actually kind of wild. The fact that he has already some ties with the wide receiver coach. That's a pretty good thing to have, especially for a wide receiver getting drafted. So that's something that I thought was really interesting. But overall, I mean, I think that Dwayne Eskridge is a solid player. I'm definitely disappointed that we passed on Creed Humphrey and some of the great offensive linemen that we possibly could have filled into center this year. But Dwayne Eskridge, he seems like he's a guy, he's a good stand-up guy, it seems like, who wanted to go to the Seahawks. And that's something that you always want. If a player wants to go to the Seahawks and you take him, he's going to be happy with that team. There's no going to be pouting or anything being on the Seahawks because this man... He wanted it, he got it, now he's gonna go and work. He did mention on Twitter that he was back to work after Russell Wilson seemed pretty happy about the pick. Now I think Russell Wilson would've been happier with center, maybe Russell Wilson wanted him more. We will have to see what comes out about Russell Wilson if he was actually a part in this selection, but Dwayne Eskridge, he seems like a good player, seems like a good guy. I will support the guy, I'm not gonna have any disdain. I'm not gonna be like an Eagles fan with Jalen Rager, even though I did mention that we kinda pulled an Eagles Jalen Rager, because for some ungodly reason, even though he has 2200 yards and 15 touchdowns in college, Everyone on ESPN just wanted to show the highlights of him kick returning, which really scared me. But seeing more highlights of what he actually did in college, which I can't actually put into this video because 90% of them are copyrighted, I have about a minute worth of actual highlights that I might be able to put into the video, so hopefully I'll be able to find a way to splice those in and create some kind of showing of highlights when I talk about him. But seeing that definitely made me feel a lot better because when I saw the original highlights going for the ESPN draft, it was almost all kick returns, which did not look good, especially seeing as though Jalen Rager is one of the most hated wide receivers for his franchise because all he can do is be a return specialist and they drafted him way too high. So this pick, although not the best pick in my opinion because I wanted Creed Humphreys, I said that from the beginning, if Creed Humphreys somehow makes it to our pick, I prayed to God that we would take him, but we didn't. And um, because of that, I was very disappointed in the moment. And I definitely said some things that may have been a bit harsh. Calling a Dwayne Eskridge Jalen Rager, probably one of the worst insults that you can possibly have as a wide receiver getting drafted. So hopefully Dwayne Eskridge has a very successful career with the Seahawks. Hopefully he does really well. I'm going to support the man 100% because he is going to be a very interesting guy to come in, be the wide receiver three. He's definitely going to be the gadget guy in the Shane Waldron offense. Shane Waldron, there were reports that came out saying that Shane Waldron, he really needed a guy to be the number three. He felt that that was the most important need and that's why the Seahawks took Dwayne Eskridge. There was also reports that they were thinking about trading 
trade down, but the trade fell through. So look at the fourth round pick to possibly be traded down for multiple fifths or a fifth and a sixth so that the Seahawks can get some more picks. But really, I think that this draft is a very weird one for the Seahawks, and it's going to be very important who we take as undrafted free agents because with only three picks, we're going to need to fill out some guys that can actually go into training camp and we can see what they can do with some guys that are undrafted young and could possibly have some potential because we only have three picks and even if we trade back probably the most we can get is four maybe five total we'll see what happens in the rest of the draft the fourth round is on today early 9 a.m pacific standard time it's going to be important to watch because that fourth round pick if we use it we're going to need to get someone pretty good on the defensive side i believe because there's no offensive linemen that i really like that are left and defensively we still need a linebacker even though we could have Darrell Taylor maybe go out to that maybe we get KJ Wright we might want to get a corner there might be some good corners left honestly I don't know what we're going to take at the fourth and seventh round pick but if we take someone that I can find highlights and he looks good I'll be happy you know but this 56 pick although I would have loved to have Creed Humphrey Dwayne Eskridge is our guy and I'm going to support him 100 percent as should all of you no matter how mad you are that the Seahawks didn't take center which I feel like was handed to them a perfect situation to be getting a center although they didn't take that they got a guy that seems like a great person seems like he wants to be with the Seahawks and I can't be mad at that so with that that's going to do it for this video make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed the video let me know down below in the comments what you think about this draft selection Dwayne Eskridge over Creed Humphrey after sleeping on it what do you guys actually think about it because I kind of had a bit of an epiphany after I slept on it I was like you know Creed Humphrey still won him still would have taken Creed Humphrey but Dwayne Eskridge he seems like he can be an important guy in the Seahawks offense so I'm not too upset I'm still kind of upset but I I will 100% support this man let me know down below in the comments what you think did you have an epiphany like me or do you still hate the guy because you wanted Creed Humphrey let me know leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and with that I'd like to thank you for watching have a great day